سیاسی آزاد باید کردن زندانی سیاسی آزاد سرد زندون نه سقف بی ستاره نه درد ویژه بند که فکر حمله داره نه حجم دیواری که سنگی و بلندن نه تختای شکنجه که من روش میبندن نه تو انفرادی در حال اعتصابم وقتی با پشت زخمی کنج دیوار میخوابم حتی با دست بسته دلم پر از یقینه یه خلقی تو کمینه شکستن امینه نه Madam Rajavi, ladies and gentlemen, and brave, brave residents of Camp Liberty. As many of you know, I've, I've been here before, um, at, have had the honor of these microphones of this podium before, too many times before, because each time we gather, we call for the release of the people of Ashraf and liberty and we call for regime change and yet as often as I've been here we have an obligation now we have an obligation now to make sure that we get those in our own day who are in a position to do something about it to act and not to rely on divine intervention and first on the list of those we have to get to act is my own government we gave our word in 2003. We gave our word that the people of Ashraf would be treated as protected persons under the Geneva Convention. We distributed ID cards. You saw, you saw with your own eyes what those ID cards were worth. What effect they had on bullets and on Humvees as we sit here, the Iraqi government, which is doing the bidding of its surrogates, and uh, which is being the surrogate of the government of Iran, are testing whether they can get away with extraditing people 
from Camp Liberty to Iran. But let me tell you something, we're here to complicate their lives and the lives of all of those in the United States government who have so far failed to get on the right side of things, to get on God's side of things here. So this really is a good time for me to be here because at a gathering like this, I and we can all draw strength from you, strength to go back and to tell our government that it has to have the strength to resist and not to obey promises, and not to follow promises, and that we will not follow promises unless and until our government acts. Strength to tell our government that until everyone can celebrate a festival of freedom, then nobody really can. There's no biblical re record of whether regime change was achieved in Egypt after the Jews left. But we have to be more ambitious than Moses was at that time because we have to achieve regime change because the Iranians are not slaves in a foreign country, they're slaves in their own country and we have to liberate that country. And we have to help them liberate it. And the only way that they're going to liberate it is if they celebrate their freedom under a new regime. So if we draw inspiration from a biblical story, it has to be inspiration to act ourselves to be the instrument of divine will under a will that seeks freedom. Seeing you here and hearing Mrs. Rajavi and seeing that film reminds us that we have an obligation and we have it in our power to do that. I pledge to you that we will act and that we will do all in our power to get others to act and that we will stand with those who stand until the end. Thank you very much. <laughs>